players in the city, they don't get any exposure. I mean, having someone like Screeper on, who were totally different in sound to what we were doing, you know, they gave them exposure, they're a new band, they got publicity out of it, eventually. But um, as far as Pink is concerned, we should have more like that. You know, we need to publicise our local music scene. Good evening, people, and welcome to the Full Groovy Show live from Studio One here at The Flash. Two hours of the finest garage trash rock and roll radio on the south coast you're going to hear on a groovy Tuesday. Now, 71 years ago today, a guy called Farouk Basara was born. You better know him as Freddie Mercury, and he did this. I've been doing it now for about a year and a half, and I first got involved. The Flash is a not-for-profit local radio station. Um, broadcast on DAB Plus and also obviously on the internet and via the various phone apps like TuneIn. The main thing is it's on DAB, so if you've got DAB Plus radio in Portsmouth, you can hear it like a proper radio station. Um, it's not for profit, everyone who works for it is a volunteer and its original um, aim was to play classic rock, blues and the best in local music. So it's not your typical top 40 radio station for a start. Um, the presenters all choose the music they play. There's no playlist. The only thing we're not allowed to do is play things like Madonna and Adele because we're not that sort of station. But um, yeah, about a year and a half ago, um, Ken Brown shared um, a little thing on Facebook about The Flash at the same time as Kev Ellis, who was I knew from Dr. Brown. Um, he shared something saying he was doing a show on The Flash and someone else got in touch with them and suggested me and Martin who runs the flash then got in touch with me and was sort of like do you fancy doing a show and I'd listen to it and I thought mm, no, I don't really want to go on the radio and play Leonard Skinner and Eric Clapton it's not my sort of thing so I said it says classic rock does that include bands like I don't know the 13th Four Elevators the Kinks um, love to see what reaction I get and it came back Yes. When can you pop in? So two days later, I was having a chat with him up at the studio. And I pre he said, prepare a little hour's worth of music. So I gave him the list of music and the CD. And he said, yep, I like that. When can you record the first show? So the following week, recorded the first show. I sat over on the other side of the desk while the guy who runs it did it. Second show, he showed me how to do it. Third show, I did it on my own. Oh. And live. <laughs> No Why mess around? Just <laughs> get on with it. <laughs> the first track I played on the radio was the Electric Prunes. I had too much to dream last night. That was the first track on my first show. And a year and a half later, I'm still doing it. Um, it's developed, of course, like all good things should over the time. Started off with one local band every half an hour. Now every third track is by a band from the Portsmouth area. Um, nice little thing that means I get to play bands from the past from 1970s 80s 90s and bands from now which means I can play stuff like Mount Dunes that wouldn't normally get played on any radio station in the city you know not even the flash but I get to play stuff like that and some of the bands I've played have been picked up by the other presenters and played on their shows which is really satisfying for me because it's like yeah I've helped I've given something back I've let another got another band a bit more exposure um so yeah two hours every Tuesday night repeated on a Saturday night uh playing garage surf trash punk rock and roll to the masses and um yeah it's great it, it's absolutely great just it's a similar sort of buzz to um, being in a band because I do the show live. A lot of the presenters record theirs, but I do mine live. Um, so it's like doing a gig. You've got to prepare for it. You've got to be ready. And then you go for it. And if something goes wrong, you've got to deal with it. Yes, I'm playing other people's music. But if you come into the studio, the volume's turned up loud. So it's like being at a gig. People like hearing it on the radio because it's stuff that you don't hear on the radio that I'm playing. I'm playing the Seeds, I'm playing the Electric Prunes, 13th Floor Elevators, the Barracudas, um, Lime Spiders from Australia, uh, I don't know, bands from Italy, bands from South America, bands from Nowheresville in America. And it's attracted a nice listening audience. I've got listeners in Australia, thanks to the internet, because it's not repeated 
you can't get it online after the show. It goes out live, it's repeated, and that's it. You know, it's not on Mixcloud or anything like that. You can't get hold of it, so you have to be there and hear it on the night. And people are tuning in from Australia. I'm getting a lot of people at the moment from Sweden. I've had a load of bands at the moment get in touch with me from Sweden, four or five in the last two months. Just heard your show, here's my band. Just heard your show, here's my band. And it's brilliant. And they're great garage rock bands. Not traditional style garage rock, but 21st century garage rock. There's an element of a grunge sound, similar to some of the bands that Portsmouth's producing at the moment, similar to the Mount Dunes, similar to Brighton Strange Cages. It's got that much more riff heavy guitar rather than a poppy style guitar but it's set to a garage 4-4 rock and roll beat and it's great stuff and it's so satisfying that's the dance in my heart as a graveyard and i've just looked at the clock and then it's almost out of time i don't know where the last two hours have gone if you've enjoyed it and you want to hear all this rubbish again you can tune into the flash at 10 p.m on saturday night when you can hear it all again and if not there'll be a brand new show next tuesday right here live from studio one on the flash at 8 p.m i've been paul groovy this is the last track from tonight's featured artist the green hornets this is party in the nest see you next week bye <laughs>